How's it going, guys? Platinum Gamer Place here, coming to you with part 21 of our Legend Arceus playthrough. Uh, so as you can see, I did level up my Pokemon a little bit, and I swapped out Luxury for Electrovire. Got some healing items, used any candies and grit rocks I had. I think we're ready to battle him, I don't know. Um, should go well. I know we defeated him, like his main team, the last time, and then we couldn't defeat the Giratina. I think we got to his second form, though. Um, uh, but yeah, this should be fun. Alright, well this is our second attempt at beating Volo. Let's see how things go. Uh, hopefully we can skip the main battle and just go straight to Giratina, but I doubt it. Yeah, okay, I didn't think so. Alright, well I did have a strategy for beating him, but I haven't played in so long, I kind of forget what it is. But we're just going to jump straight, thing straight into things and hope things turn out well. We're gonna go with strong style Aqua Tail to start things off. Okay, almost knocked it out first try. He's gonna swap out, send out Rose Raid. Yep, and it's gonna use Petal Dance. Oh, spikes. Alright, that's fine. I was just expecting Petal Dance because that probably could have knocked me out first shot. Okie dokie. Um. I'm just debating here, because if I send out Infernape and knock it out, it's probably going to send out Garchomp and use Earth Power to knock me out. But if I use Star Raptor, it's probably going to send out Arcanine, which will use Rock Slide to knock me out for a shot. I guess alternatively, I could try Electrovire, considering Grass types aren't super effective against Electric. I think that's what we'll try. Strong style fire punch. I don't know why it was invisible just then, but all right, that's fine. Electrovire turned away. Oh, well, that's great. It looks like I have a defiant Pokemon. That's unfortunate. Um. Well, if it's not gonna listen to me, uh, yeah, you serve no point in being alive. Just die, please. Well, that sucks. I could use them later on. Uh, let me think. Which path results in the least death? Infernape... Uh, yeah, Infernape's probably my best bet. We're gonna go with him. Strong Style Raging Fury. Then it's probably gonna send out his Garchomp and use Earth Power, like I said. Okay, good. Rose Raid is down. Yeah, Garchomp, and then Earth Power. Yep, like I said. Okay, great. Now we're going to send out Dialga and use Roar of Time, which should knock it out first try. First shot, first whatever. Probably going to use close combat. Oh, bullet punch. Alright, that's fine by me. Bulk up. Okay. Okay. This is good, because uh, close combat probably would have knocked me out. We're going to go into Pokemon now. And we haven't seen the Arcanine yet. So if I send out Star Raptor to use close combat, yeah. We're not going to do that. Um, I don't really want to send, or sorry, save Dialga, because Earth Power isn't going to knock it out first try, even though it is super effective, and it's going to use close combat and knock me out, so no, we're not doing that. Okay, we're going to go with Garchomp's Earth Power, strong style. Just this way, I don't think it has any moves that are super effective. I don't think. Yeah, it's not super effective, but still very strong, and I am slightly regretting it now, but that's okay. Nice, and that was for a shot. I just didn't think the Alga could do it. I mean, maybe he could, but I don't know. I should have more faith in my Pokemon, and it's going to use Moonblast knock me out. I should be like a fortune teller or something. I can predict the future. 
Okay. Well, um, the Alga, I guess you're up. You're the only Pokemon that has super effective attacks. Iron Tail's more powerful. We're gonna get a strong style Iron Tail. Okay, good. That knocked it out first try. This is good. This is good. Ah, oh, there's the Arcanine I talked about. Rage and Fury, that's a new one. Also super effective. Oh. I thought it was, because I'm a Seal type, but I forgot I'm also Dragon. Strong style Earth Power should be enough to knock it out. I would think. I would hope. I would pray. Yay, it is. This is good. Great. Wonderful. Alright, time to blast Pokemon Spiritomb, and it's already at like 10 health, and there's the full restore, okay, this is fine. Hypnosis could be a small problem, but I avoided the attack, so it's all good. None of these moves are particularly effective against it. Uh, none of them are, in fact. Wait, none of these moves are super effective, wow. Looks like we're gonna have to just go at it with sheer force, Roar of Time is my strongest attack, so we're gonna go with that. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on. Okay, well, at least I avoided the attack. That's good, that's good. Um, uh, we're gonna go with... Which has the most accuracy? Okay, Earth Power, 100% accuracy. There we go. Alright, we knock Spiritomb out. Still have three Pokemon. Got a good feeling about this. For a second attempt, after, like, a couple hours of grounding. <laughs> grounding grinding. I think it's going pretty good. And all the Pokemon level up. So that's awesome. What if there's going to be a Legend of Arceus anime? That'd be fun. I'm going to skip the cutscene, hope you don't mind. Basically, uh, Garatina comes from a portal, and now he's here to fight us. And he has two forms, and he's like level 70, very powerful. This is great, I've got a good feeling about this, guys. Alright, I'll stand right here to block any attacks that come, okay. Oh, how did that get through to you? That's so weird. Uh, okay. Ceaseless Edge is very powerful, and it does a little bit of damage each turn. Strong style. Equal level should be pretty effective. Wow, okay, I was hoping it would do at least a little more than that, but alright. Uh, R.I.P. Samurott, and I forget if the move's effect still... Yeah, okay, it does still work even when it's fainted. Um, hmm. I guess we're gonna go with Dialga. And then we're gonna use Roar of Time. Hopefully knock it out. Okay, okay, this is good, this is good. And then it comes at us with the second form. Alright, we've still got two Pokemon, but I'm guessing it's gonna use... Agile Style Dragon Claw. Oh, I was wrong, okay. Alright, uh, we're still alive, and then it's Aura Sphere. And now we're dead. Well, I guess that was all for nothing. Great. Okay, Star Raptor, Star Raptor, my friend. Um, we're gonna try reviving Dialga, I guess. Dragon Claw. Okay, that's oh, okay. We're still alive. We're still alive at four HP. I say we revive Garchomp. Okay. Dragon Claw. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, we're gonna start with the Alga, because Roar of Time is more powerful. We're gonna try to get as much damage in as possible. Alright, Roar of Time, go. I wish I could use Strong Style, but I can't. We're two levels higher. Nice, it's at like a quarter HP. Strong Style, okay. Aura Sphere, alright, alright. Okay, the Alga's down, but that's, that's, uh, to be expected. 
All right, now we still have Garchomp. This is good. It can attack us because it's our turn. Uh, Shadow Claw is more powerful. It's also more effective. We're going to go strong style Shadow Claw. Knock it out. For a second attempt, I think this went extremely well. Please, please. Yes! 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 Sorry for going deaf, but yes! Yes! Finally. That took way too long. That battle alone was like 10 minutes. And honestly, I just hate the final boss. Well, I don't hate it, but it's always the most hard and it's kind of annoying. Anyway. Ugh. So happy to finally have that done. I've been putting the Park 21 off for so long now, because like... Uh, it, it took a long time to grind, and just grinding isn't that fun. I don't mind, uh, you know, grinding if it's, uh, during the main mission. But if I've finished everything and all the trainers are defeated, I have to go beat up, like, level 2 wild Pokemon. Okay, well, not level 2, but, like, you know what I mean. It just takes a while and it's a little annoying. But here we go. We have, at long last, the final plate. We have the spooky plate from Volo. Great. Ah, we did it. Seek the remaining plates. Wonderful. Oh, that's right. Our uh, flute turns into the Azure flute. It kind of looks like a, I don't know, seashell. A pukumuku or something. I don't know. <laughs> nice. Okay, so, now, the only mission left to do is, um, to seek out all Pokemon. We have to complete the Pokedex next. That is, that is our mission now. And, as you can see, um, it's not coming along well. I haven't really been taking the time to, uh, to get them. I'm missing a lot. So obviously, eventually, I'll come back with part... Actually, this will probably be 21.5. Uh, and then I'll come out with, like, 21 as a whole, or... Yeah, okay, this will be 21... Part 21, part 1. And then when I have completed the Pokedex, that'll be part 21, part 2, or something like that. Because, like, we're at 13 minutes now, what am I supposed to do for, like, the remaining 17 minutes until we reach, like, the half an hour mark? I guess I could just go, uh, heal my Pokemon. Because there's, there's a lot that needs to be done. And I gotta work on a lot of the side quests, too. Because, like, I have a bunch. I've only done a few of them because I wanted to save them for videos. And yeah, it's uh, it's taken a while. I don't know why I put them off to like the very end of the game, but hey, yeah. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I could just like fast travel here. Yeah, that's so much better. Okie dokie. Now uh, let's go here. Rest until morning. Alright, and I want to see my Pokemon. As you can see, I don't have that many. I tried organizing them at some point. Anyway, so this is the Luxray that I had, and I had swapped that wild one out for one that I had on my team since, like, the beginning of the game. Here it is here. I'm going to bring it back. It's going to be very underleveled, but it's just good to have him back. He's got the, the friendship up there, you know. He's a good guy. I'll have to level him up a bit, but yeah, it's about time he gets back on my team. The boxes are, like, very unorganized. I'll probably... I should do a video on how to organize boxes. That'd be nice. 
Uh, yeah. There is so much to do. Wow. Well, there we go, guys. I think this is basically the end of her journey. I don't know. We went through a lot together. Had a lot of laughs. A little bit of stress there, but... Yeah. There we go. That was our Pokemon Legends Arceus playthrough. Feels pretty good to have that done, but hey, rest assured, this is not the final Legend of RCS video. There will still be many more to come. And I can't thank you guys enough for your support. Ever since I started releasing these videos, my channel has been a little more popular, but yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks guys. Really appreciate you. I'll see you guys in the next video, wherever that may be. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.